For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the newly released Leatherface, starring Lily Taylor and Stephen Dorff. And Leatherface is a prequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It details the series of events that led a young man to become Leatherface. And Leatherface, the movie, has had a pretty rocky road to this very, very odd release. Uh, this was a film that was made like three years ago, somewhere in that area. It was scheduled for a theatrical release and then it was pulled. I think it was rescheduled. That release date got pulled and then the movie was just without a release date for quite some time. It hovered in this limbo until the news broke that Leatherface was going to premiere on direct TV. That's right. Leatherface, the movie had its premiere just the other day. On direct TV. Now, later on in October, the movie's going to have what I'm assuming is going to be a very uh, brief, limited theatrical run, and it will be made available uh, to rent in Redbox, etc., on the exact same day. So, this has been a very interesting release for Leatherface, to say the least. Now, judging by the movie's very rocky and unique release schedule, one could safely surmise that maybe Leatherface just isn't very good. So I went into the movie with absolutely no expectations, and by the end of it, my feelings were kind of mixed. However, overall, I thought, this isn't bad. This isn't a bad movie at all. Now, if you go into Leatherface expecting a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie or a Texas Chainsaw Massacre like movie, you're probably going to be disappointed. Now, the beginning of the film and the end of the film feel kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre-ish, but the bulk of the film is really a sort of road movie from hell kind of thing that's really more reminiscent of The Devil's Rejects. You have four escaped mental patients. They've taken a nurse hostage with them. They're on the road, they're trying to get to Mexico, and anybody who stands in their way is going to get taken out one way or another. From a technical point of view, Leatherface is a really well-made film. The same duo who brought us inside, a horror film that got a lot of buzz a few years ago, directed the film. The movie looks great. The pacing is <laughs> breakneck. This movie does not let up for one instant. Even during the more charactery moments, the pacing was just a mile a minute. As far as the performances are concerned, Lily Taylor was great, I thought, as the matriarch of the Sawyer clan. Stephen Dorff, who plays this vengeful, bloodthirsty uh, local sheriff who we discover is just as ruthless and just as bloodthirsty as the Sawyer family, uh, did an excellent job as well. I don't want to give too much away about the movie because a big part of it is about the audience guessing which of the four really three escaped mental patients will eventually become Leatherface, although it's pretty obvious, I thought, and that actor gave a really strong performance. However, and despite all of the film's surprisingly strong attributes, there was something about Leatherface, and I still can't quite put my finger on it, that just limits the movie. It just held it back from really becoming its own and breaking out and, and kind of, I don't know, hitting that next gear to make the film not just a not bad movie, but a good movie, or even a great movie. As it stands, Leatherface isn't a bad movie by any stretch. It's not a great movie either. It's somewhere right there, kind of middle of the road, although I would definitely say it's leaning more toward a good movie than a bad movie. I would say a six and a half out of 10. Uh, it's definitely not the kind of movie I feel like I will ever want to watch again, or will ever feel the desire to want to go back 
and revisit. It's well made. The performances are good. The pacing is absolutely breakneck. There are some legitimately shocking moments in the film. It's graphically violent. It's gruesome. It's gory. It's grimy. It's the kind of movie that after you watch it, you feel like you need a bath, which may or may not be a good thing depending on what mood you're in at the time. But I do give Leatherface more or less a recommendation. If you've seen Leatherface, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.